Good evening, everyone. Late Night Mega here. And tonight we're going back to Premier Drafting for Dominaria United. And let's see if uh, things go a bit better here than they have been going in traditional drafting. All right, there's a quick table. And let's open a bomb rare. I, I've been meaning I've been meaning to uh, ask for bomb rares in the the pack one opening here. That's not really a bomb rare, but we have a bomb mythic uncommon, which is uh, like the third highest winning card in the set. This is uh, yeah, this is this is what we're gonna do. Rest of this pack, you know, Citizens Arrest is good. Tail Swipe is pretty decent. Uh, Land is fine. The Drake. This thing's even okay. But, um... Yeah, no reason not to pick the Wing Mantle Chaplain there. And we get a very nice follow-up. The Prayer of Binding. We call that Prayer of Blessing. There's a Territorial Morrow here. Uh, but I think we're just going to take the binding, see if we can get the defender deck together. Since we're starting with the chaplain, this shouldn't be too difficult. We're going to look for the common that can tutor defender creatures. Wow. Uh, we have extinguished the light, but I think if we're going into... I think if we're going into the Defender deck, I think Raph is better, and we want to be blue-white. If Raph wasn't here, I'd probably take the Extinguish. Though Esper colors aren't really bad for, for this either, but there's multiple, like, blue walls we could play as well. There's the, uh, there's, the, there's also the, uh, black walls. Yeah, the black ones are, are decent as well, both the common and uncommon. Esper is kind of the color combination we would want to be for this sort of defender deck. I do feel that the defender decks, when when you've got a good one going on, uh, are insanely difficult or nigh impossible to defeat. There's a blight pile, which actually that would have been amazing with the uh, thing. What does this thing do? Choose a card type other than creature. A land spells of the chosen type cost one less to cast. And then you can blink it. I mean, that's a card. I think we're just going to take a defender here. We'll take the blight pile. Academy wall is a common, so we are somewhat likely to see that again. Now there's coral colony. There's also the gibbering barricade. We're going to take the blue one this time, because this also gives us another... Uh, win condition card in our defender deck. Oh, yeah. And the academy wall, too. I think it's just got to be the shield wall sentinel. I don't know that we need the cavalier, though. Cavalier is very good. We're not taking it over another defender. Especially the this, this is the one that tutors, too. And it's common. And this is like the only deck that wants it. All right, so this pick. I could just take the rare. It's either like the rare or the librarian. I'll just rare draft a little bit. Since I haven't taken a rare yet. We've got... Uh, Yeah, our opening five picks are all uncommons, and then just a 
a really good common to go with most of this strategy. Raph is also nice here because like we can tap our defenders that are just kind of sitting around not doing anything uh, to draw a card every time we play an instant or sorcery. So I think Raph fits in really well here. All right, well, there's a drawbridge. There's also a shore up. We'll probably get drawbridges later. I'm a little bit interested in having the shore up as a way to protect, like, our chaplain or our raff. So I'm going to pick that here. And we're also going to be looking for, like, some of the Esper lands so we can splash some of... Oh, Blight Pile is also a nice little alternate wind condition here. Just sit behind a, a huge barricade of defenders and then just, like, never lose. Because there's very few things in this format that can actually, like, attack around, especially the 0-5 wall. Alright, well, here I think we can just take the Drake... Yeah, flyer is fine. And the turtle doesn't have defender. No, nothing in this pack is particularly great. I guess I'll just take a Baird. Uh, okay, Cult Conscripts, Benelash the Sleeper Hit. I don't think we're getting that. I'll take the Acolyte, I guess. But we're probably not playing that with the Green Kicker. Alright, well, I'll take the 2-drop rare here. I'm okay with that. Are we not getting the Academy Walls back? Thought we would have gotten the Academy Walls back. That's not an Academy Wall. Okay. Well, we open no defenders, but we do have some lands here. We got the blue, white, the white, black. We have this guy is pretty cool too, but I don't think we need that here over one of the lands. I do want to try and splash the uh, blight pile, and speaking of, there's another blight pile. There's also a Phyrexian Rager. They're all a rage. Those wouldn't be awful to have, especially since... Uh, do I want the Defender? kind of want the Defender. I also kind of want the Rager. How many Defenders do we have right now? One, two... Three, four... I'll take the Rager. I feel like the Defender deck is kind of lacking around the three-drop spot. Yeah, there's really not much in this pack for for us. I guess Artillery Blast is okay. If we're three colors, it can deal four. We're playing defenders, so things are going to be attacking into us more often. I don't think we have any red kickers going on right now, no. All right, well, there's a Talus Lookout, which is a good card, nonetheless. Oh, another Coral Colony. That's cool. Yep, definitely gonna... that'll be the pickup here. 
still want to collect some more defenders. And it's another one of those defender wind conditions later on. We can uh, just just get mill wind conditions. We can win with birds. We can win with uh, and we can win with like just draining them. All right, we're still going to be on the lookout for the Esper dual lands. There's a shield wall sentinel. That is what this deck wants. Valiant veteran, the soldier. We don't. Really, this is not really a soldier deck. Yeah, that's a wizard. That's a wizard. That. Might not be getting played, most likely. I would like more fixing than just a single sunlit marsh. All right, draw then discard. If you discard an instant or sorcery, each opponent loses one life. Looter pooter here. I haven't actually played this card yet. Cast an instant or sorcery from your graveyard this turn. We don't have a ton of instants or sorceries yet, but uh, I don't know what else I'd be taking from this. Maybe the three mana thing. I really didn't want to play Crystal Grotto. Like, I really, really don't want to play it. I'd rather play the Meteorite. Another Artillery Blast. That would be okay. Oh, Blight Pile came back. Heck yeah. I'll take the Cavalier here. Another reasonable three drop. I don't think we're playing any of these cards, so I'll take the... Uh, I'm going to take the rare anyways, but... Yeah, okay, I don't have any of that. Griffin Protector? Sure. Uh, Tattered Apparition. I don't think that card's very good. And we get uh, nothing. Well, this is in our colors. Yeah, that's, that's the type of land we want. So once again, pack three, just like pack two, we're going to start it off by uh, picking a land here. The Knight of Dawn's Light, another Shield Wall Sentinel, an Academy Wall. Those are all good picks. I think I'm up for the good two drop creature because we might not be playing this. Another Phyrexian Rager. Oh, this pack is kind of stacked for, again, for colors that, or things that we're not really doing. Could also take a Destroy Evil. Right now, our removal is two Artillery Blasts. And we have the Prayer. I'll take another Rager. I mean, we're pretty heavy into the Black Splash here. Uh, I don't know if we're playing any of these. I mean, Resolute Reinforcements is a good card, but probably not the best for this deck. Well, I'll take an Espionage here. That's a fine card, and I don't think we've even played that yet. 
take up the shield or relic. I don't like relic. There's also the phalanx. I, I don't think we need like a random 4-4 four four on the ground. I would like some of those academy walls though. So we can have five toughness on the ground instead of like just these coral colonies. So we're splashing black for the blight piles and the ragers. Off of two of those half black. Well, that doesn't seem too bad. I could even use the mana worker. Or there's uh, that's that's a little too black heavy. Yeah, maybe we'll try the Librarian. Alright, these are not the lands we are looking for. I guess Faith Wander? Which we're not really playing either. Did I have a green? Oh, I do have a green sort of kicker with the Acolyte. We're at 25 cards here, not counting these two lands, so I still have to cut two things. I think this Acolyte will get cut. And probably one of these other... Stem could probably also get cut. Although... With Sten, I could choose Artifact, and then the Shield Wall Sentinels are... Ooh. Interesting idea. Rare draft or bone. I'm going to take bone splinters in case we really need the removal. Shield wall sentinel came back. That is awesome. Destroy evil came back. Okay, I like that over bone splinters. Cool. I got the things back that I wanted to get back. Uh. Yeah, I'll take Colossal Growth and Hammerhand. Okay. I think we've got a good deck here. We're, we are splashing black, but uh, I think... I think it'll be okay. We have to make three cuts. I think we can legitimately play this. Play Raph. Play all of this stuff. Um, I guess what are we not playing? Griffin Protector is probably the most underwhelming thing here. So let's cut that. I kind of want to keep the Meteorite just to make sure our mana is working. And I can also make it cheaper with this thing, as janky as all of this sounds. Uh, but what else would we be getting rid of? What is our creature count, by the way? 17? Okay. What's our instant and sorcery count? 5, 6? So it's kind of between Mace Cavalier, Soaring. I think I'll take the Drake over the Cavalier. And then is take up the shield good here? 
Part of me feels like this just might not be the deck for it. Though with Sten, we could also like name instant. And then like cast all of these for one mana. Which that also doesn't feel awful. Maybe we only play one Rager. No, that can't be right. Maybe we don't need to take up the shield and shore up. Or we don't need the Librarian. It's probably... The Librarian? We just keep all of our two for ones and our take up the shield. Alrighty. Six, six, three swamps. So that gives us seven blue, seven white. Alright. And five black. Casting the lookout might be kind of tricky on turn four. Alrighty, we've got we've got the deck. We've got the Esper Defenders. It's like the dream deck that people want. May not be the most optimal setup for it, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Huff Daddy, the names people come up with. Well, opponent goes first. If I keep this, we could just be dead. But we also have tons of... Draw all of our black cards. We also have tons of... Uh... Oh, there we go. There we go. Never mind. We're good. I say tons of two drops that are in our colors. Or we could just draw a swamp. No attack, so that seems cool. We're just going to do this. Draw a card, get a Talus Lookout that we can cast next turn. Opponent doesn't attack. Doesn't seem to have much. I could attack here. Any instant or sorcery, this ends up just dying. Let's just play the uh, Lookout. We're not in a rush here. We're the, we're the defender deck. What I want our opponent to do is play like some five mana creature and then we can just meteorite and kill this thing. Or our opponent can just play nothing at any point and just do do nothing ever. Okay, Mirror's out right. There we go. That is kind of what I want. 
and we have Wrath. But I don't have any instant resources. Let's, let's get rid of this infantry now. While it's not able to do much. I could have also attacked in here and then played right to finish that off. But, uh... I don't feel that's needed. Do I block this? I feel like I should. Do I want to block it with Blight Pile, though? Not particularly. I mean, there could be, like, a Gaia's Might or something. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yeah, you got it. Another Blight Pile. Seems cool. And a coral colony. Uh, let's see what we draw here. Could play the shield wall sentinel. That doesn't feel bad. Well, either way, we still end up doing another double spell here. Let's uh, shield wall sentinel. We'll get this gravy train going here. Getting a shield wall sentinel. That is how this deck works. Are we killing things? Are we biting down on the blight pile? We're not biting, biting down. We're not biting down. <laughs> I don't just want to keep taking hits, but... I'm sure our opponent is up to something. How much mana do we have? Three, four, five, six, seven. Untapped land, I'll play this, and I'll play the... Uh, Chaplain. Didn't get it. No need to attack here. We can just start spamming the board next turn. I will double block the Mira's Outrider with my two non-defenders here. Stronghold Arena. That's a little bold. I don't know why I added the other shield wall sentinel on there. And what, do you have two tricks here? Extinguish the li okay. That seemed like a really bad trade for our opponent. I'm just putting that out there. Alright, here come the birds. Get a nice little bird's eye view. I mean, I guess the miasma would be really bad for us here. Uh, one, two. Yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this. The swamp. Yeah, our opponents just absolutely crushed under the value of our defenders. All right, one and oh. Ka 
Copper Line George. Not Copper Line Gorge, which which that is a magic card. Um, do I have enough white sources? I don't like taking mulligans. Okay, the opposite problem of, of what we had last game. Last game we had all our black cards and none of our black lands to start with. This game, we've got all of our, uh, well, not all of our white cards. We have a bunch of them. A bunch of white cards and none of them, uh, none of the white land. Gosh. This is kind of bad for us. I probably should not have kept this hand. Oh, Elder Dragon War, that's gross. Starting on the discards, they're going to get rid of stuff they don't need. I can cast one white card or a shield wall. Shield wall's just going to trade. Playing a two drop here feels bad. Let's get the shield wall and let's get... Let's get a blight pile. So we can double spell next turn. Maybe. Alright, no fifth land to pump. That was nice. These guys are not so nice. Okay. How do we do this? Wingmantle Chaplain, that's our only play. I think I got a... That is still pretty bad. Alright, well we gotta kill the Phalanx. And just hope this doesn't go horribly wrong, but there's so many ways. Yeah, we were, we were so dead. We did nothing until turn four. That, that's why we had issues. The mana was always going to be the uh, biggest issue of this deck. We needed that mana start in the, the last game. And we needed our, our last mana start in this game. <laughs> Joshes. Is that the plural of Josh? Are we... I'm not doing that again. Alright, cool. I guess Meteor... Let's get rid of the Quorum Colony. Just hear me out on this. I'm going to call Artifact. Artifact. Doesn't even let me call Sorcery. Maybe it was just auto-picking things that were in my hand. I don't know. Phyrexian Rager, they're all the rage. We're not going to attack. I have a totally block here. Dragon Whelp, that's a good target for Artillery Blast. Yeah, I'll cash in on the two for one on that. Prayer of Binding, also a good card. A meteorite? Like I really need to do anything? Alright, let's 
let's kill it. Just be done with the thing. Defiler of faith? Oh no, our opponent is defiling themselves. Let's see if we can help them out with that. Let's get rid of that, please. Just attack here. It only gives my creatures hexproof. I want to give my enchantment hexproof. Well, possibly give my enchantment hexproof. Okay. I could use the uh, shield wall sentinel. It's a fine card, too. Kill the healer, or just. Let's espionage me with this card. What are we gonna do? Attack me for two here? Sure. Got to be a tough choice. We're we're hitting something good. Shalai's acolyte. All right. So whatever else is in their hand, Josh's hand. Is uh, it'd be better than that. I'll just take two here. That's not a good sign. This is, yeah, heroic charge. Which, that's not going to save this. That's fine. Okay. It's not the worst that could have happened. Do I need to blast that thing? Not right now. Not right now. I'm not going to die to that in 12 turns. That thing can kill me, like, almost immediately, though. Fortunately, I'm going to destroy my opponent's evil. We've had removal in all the right spots. And there's a Drake. Which is a decent draw here. Would love a shield wall sentinel. Just get that train rolling with these sentinels. Ah, uh, well... Okay. I don't mind trading the shore up for the whelp here. That's fine. I'll trade the artillery blast for it. That works for me as well. Lightning strike. Let's not kill that, please. Okay, well, it's dying. Okay, you, you killed it. I did say please, though. Another blast for another... Uh... Ah, there, there we go. There we go. We're in business now. Uh, how much mana do we have? We have enough to do two Shield Wall Sentinels a turn. Yeah, it's coming. They're coming, and you cannot stop them. And then we can shield wall sentinel chaplain and win. Because that's what the defender deck does. That does not impress me much. And a billion birds. Juniper, Order, or Root Weaver. Sure. You got it. You kill a bird and a sentinel. Oh. 
coral colony. And we just win in the air here. In the air, in the air. We got a bird's eye view of our opponent scooping. All right, we're two in one. Moving right along here. Baziorka. There's a good chance I'm not pronouncing that correctly. Oh, uh, we'll keep this. We have a couple cards we can play. We play our island first, not that it really matters. Coral Colony. Okay, we do need to start drawing some more land, though. That's not more land. I guess I can also mill them. I'm gonna cut down my... I don't even know if I want to artillery blast this because it'll just die to most things we play. I don't really need to mill one here. Then again, if I get a land next turn, probably just doing other things. I get another colony. Any untapped land, I could play the espionage, draw into more lands. Swamp, I could play it. Get the Ragers going. Or we can draw nothing. Captain's Call in an Esper deck. Interesting. Espionage kicked for our opponent. Um... Get rid of the blight pile. If I get black, I want to start playing the ragers. Just going to throw away one of these tokens. Odd choice. I mean, I guess when we do, we're not doing anything. Because we can't find a third land in the top 12 cards. Destroy evil, yep. Oh my gosh. Top 13 cards, only three land. I feel like we probably just can't win now. Nope, we can't. We have 17 land in the deck, and the deck just didn't want to pretend that it did. Oh, hey. Our opening hand has more land than we have the entire last game. We'll keep it. I'd say not the most exciting opening hand, but there's a lot of stuff we can draw into. Deathloom Gardener. I 
He doesn't want to trade, that's fine. Phyrexian Espionage. Let's fire off a shield wall sentinel. Okay, kind of weird that our opponent didn't have anything here, but uh, that is actually okay. Grab another shield wall sentinel. Just get that train rolling. No attacks this time. Okay, so our opponent... Played nothing on their turn or our turn. Joda's Codex, oh dear. I may have to uh, get rid of that. Otherwise, that's just a little too much on the card advantage. Already had all five. <laughs> That's ridiculous. All right, it's insane. To oh gosh. Can't get my stuff out soon enough. Coral Colony can kind of work. Now let's do this. Going to kill our defender. Going to bite down our other thing. Still taking a bunch of damage there. Oh, stop having stuff. Talus Lookout trades with one of those. Well, that's just like not enough. This is so bad. I have to be able to kill one of these to make any sort of meaningful progress here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's still ten we're taking.
Well, we had a good deck. We just lost to Mana Screw and Insane Domain. This is why I don't like the Domain decks. We have to be able to block everything. And no matter what I do, I can't put out enough stuff to block everything. And we're just dead on board. Yeah. What a terrible end for an otherwise great... The 2-3, this deck should not have gone 2-3. Oh, yeah, we just had... We had mana issues in a couple games, and then... And we just got run over really quickly by, like, what was that? A turn 5 herd migration? Turn 6 herd migration for everything? Yeah. Well, for now, I'll take my leave.